Why are you making that face? Me? Yay, yay you. Oh, I'm just painted that way. Do you have any um questions for the star of First First Impressions, the wig? Listen, here's the thing. I don't hate the color of it on you. I just think the it looks like fried to shit. <laughs> Is that the girl with the fucking I never Brian. came on. I, listen, I never came on here saying, "Look at how good my bad hair is." Okay. Listen, my hair is just a single mom in this world trying to get some work, and everyone out here hates. <laughs> Listen, as you all know, I'm on my journey to get my page up. I know y'all are watching. I see the analytics. If you are watching this video, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. I know YouTubers are always saying it, but also just do it. It's so easy and it feels good. It feels good. Like, it really feels good. You just gotta take that, just click it. You're gonna take that mouse, you're gonna click it. And now her and her grandma aren't the only ones with gaping consoles. <laughs> Honestly, Ohara, prove it. Leak your grandma's asshole pics. <laughs> Leak them. <laughs> prove it, bitch. Leak your grandma's gaping asshole pics. I don't Show believe her you. Show her hole. Show her hole. Show her hole. That's the only fans I'm looking for. Not Ohara's. Ohara's Nan. I want to subscribe to that only OnlyFans, honey. At Ohara's Nan on OnlyFans. Hello everyone and welcome back to Purse First Impressions. Today we're going to be reviewing RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 2 Episode 8. And I'm so excited to have here um, the quasi gothy queen of Chicago. Please welcome Miss Layla McQueen. You are such an idiot. <laughs> I just realized one thing. I'm not wearing my headphones. That probably makes a difference. I don't like, I don't, this is how my mom used to dress going to work. This is like the way Martha Caldwell would dress running out the door, like grabbing. Can you imagine if Michelle Obama wore that hair to the inauguration? Yeah, she would've looked even better. <laughs> even better. You think she broke the internet the first time. If she'd wore this, honey, that'd have been like, girl, you've done it again, girl. Constantly I, raising the bar. <laughs> I gotta say, it's wild that you're like, I'm going to wear this hair, hold everyone hostage, um, and then have a red backdrop so you can't even, you can only see the bangs. <laughs> I'm just a floating face. Red outfit, red hair, red back, just a floating face. So, okay, first of all, how have you been enjoying this season? Like, are you living? Are you into it? What's good? I love UK Drag Race. I do think it's uh, better than the US one. I do. I agree with you. I agreed last year. I agreed this year. Candy Muse tweeted out being like, uh, first of all, who comes? Well, I want. I want to get the direct quote. And I honestly, I understand the annoyance because when you're on Drag Race, you're a lot more sensitive to air. everything. Is just everything oh. stings a little bit more when you're on the air. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And I've been I've been removed from it from for quite a while now. She tweets so often, I can't even find. Y'all do realize that uh, US season 13 queens really don't give a shit if you prefer UK2 over our season, right? But just shut the fuck up and enjoy both both the good seasons. Your ass is still tuning in every day, every Friday night at 8 p.m. regardless, per. And the truth is, you know what, bitch? I am. Yes, I am tuning in every yeah. single Friday. I love, I love um, Drag Race US, which I also love that now Drag Race UK is so good that we're calling it Drag Race US. <laughs> <laughs> and not not RuPaul's Drag Race, just like oh, we got UK and US. Listen, just because I like UK doesn't mean I don't like US. That's mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, but, but I, I love the, I love the girls of um, US, and I love the girls of UK, and just. I gotta just say, this fucking UK is giving me life. Let's just hop right into it, okay? Listen, if you would like to join us in the conversation, please use the hashtag purse first impressions on the screen. Hashtag purse first impressions. And y'all know, I be on Twitter chit chatting and kikiing. Okay, so the fallout sister sister has just gone home. And girl, Ellie Diamond is up in her feelings about how people think about her. She wants to know what do you think? What do you think? Am I valid? Am I valid? I get it. When you're on Drag Race, you're hyper sensitive to people around you. Ellie is obsessed with whether or not the other girls think she is of quality. She cannot let it go. She starts at the beginning of every episode being like, so do you all still, th do you think I'm worthy now? And it's like, who cares? 
Who cares if they think you're worthy? I feel like Ellie a lot of the times is like, I can do the death drops, I can split, I can do this, and is always talking about what she can do, and then doesn't really do it. Not that she does a bad job, but then comes in and she's like, so what did you guys think? And everyone's like, it was all right. So during this little, um, this mini challenge where they all dress up like uh, dudes or whatever, I actually really like uh, Lawrence Cheney's look. It really got me together. That's the suit, mixed suit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I also love Ellie Diamond's little uh, Bowie-inspired look, oh, although the course. wig was a little quaffed. But I was like, it's all cute. I, I, I love this kind of challenge because it's just weird, but all the mini challenges for UK, when they come on, I sit there for a second and I, I kind of pause and I go, what the fuck is happening? Like, yeah, that's mini challenges and... I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's no cha-cha bitch, but you know. <laughs> they did do cha-cha bitch. They limboed for like half the episode. <laughs> oh, that's right. They did. They, <laughs> they did they do that. And did. Jody Harsh DJ'd it. I was like, what is going on? I'm not mad. I'm just like. This is Ellie's first win. Ellie has not won anything. And I mean anything since she's been in, in eight episodes. Her first win was this mini challenge. That is wild, but then also, I mean, I get RuPaul, I feel like, is talking a lot more during UK than US. And even though she, she likes her other family more than she likes us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like uh, even though Ellie hasn't won, there's been a lot of times where RuPaul has gone out of her way to be like, you are amazing, you are a star. And I think that's like, I know that doesn't count with like points and numbers and, you know, credentials mm -hmm. in the competition, but I feel like as a whole, I'm like, RuPaul fucking loves this bitch. <laughs> yeah, that, that that counts for something. She got one ticket sold when, when her show's open back up, for, for sure. <laughs> but Ellie Diamond wins the challenge, which, I mean, it's, I, I don't... Sometimes mini challenges be full on arbitrary. Sometimes it's like, they were all fine. It was pr producers producing like they should. I, I don't think yeah. it was like a winner, loser, anyone to particularly well or bad, cause since it was like kind of a... A, just a fun challenge like how are we judging yeah. a winner here but like ooh, let's stir the pot i'm here for it they're doing their jobs exactly i, I appreciate Same. it okay so ellie diamond wins the mini challenges she is now granted the opportunity to set the lineup how do you feel about her lineup because ellie admitted that she was doing it to be shady right i mean this that's you... like that is the kind of the point of this challenge of that like kind of mini challenge win is you either if you're at that point in the competition where things are getting so tense and like everyone's like kind of irritable with each other so it's either like you help your friends you do it fairly or you try to be like i need to get this bitch out like shangela did the first comedy challenge in season three where she was like oh i think i'm just gonna do this and then gets to the confessional is like i want raja to go the fuck home i need delta to yeah. get out of here so i'm putting them da -da 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 -da. so i get it i don't get why the girls are surprisingly mad i think if ellie would have stuck to her guns like yeah i did it i want to but she was like and now i feel bad and they were like bitch you don't fucking feel bad if you feel bad then change it so i think what it is is ellie would have just like leaned into it and been like yeah i'm doing this so that i can but also there's a there is a way for ellie to set herself up to, for success without setting i feel like she wanted to get, put everyone at a detriment except herself which is yes. an option and, it, and it's completely valid there's nothing against doing that it is a competition i do kind of agree with taste taste the only one who's kind of like Guys, it's really not that big of a fucking deal. Taste is like, y'all are really overreacting. And Lawrence is letting her have it. Lawrence, Lawrence is flipping her shit. She is mad. Okay, so here's how I here's how I feel about this season being like broken into two halves with COVID. Um I I have like I really like Bimini. I've noticed like the internet was like is like all, after the little COVID break, everyone is like obsessed with Bimini and Lawrence is kind of like very emotional. And I'm thinking I was thinking mm -hmm. about I was like, bitch, they spent seven months off and Lawrence probably sat at home eating, not doing drag, going, what the fuck is my life? I can't, what am I doing? And Bimini's over there doing headstands in her garden on a chair, like <laughs> meditating. So Bimini came back, she's like, yeah, I'm cool to win. And Lawrence is like, I'm gonna kill everyone. Like she is like yeah. on the verge. I will say the Bimini rise has worked on me. Like, I don't know that anytime a girl is lip syncing on the first episode and then gone on to like, more than likely be in the top three, she is really fucking good. And she is yeah. shining and she is doing a just a fucking bang up job. 
she is she's funny she's beautiful she's talented she's got so many things going for her so i agree i wrote down one of my favorite things that lauren said lawrence looked at her after ellie did her thing and lauren said you think you're gonna win a badge i was like oh <laughs> my god like she said i'm just setting myself up for a win and she goes and you think you're gonna win a badge i was I like lawrence is hot hot she is bitch is mad mad like, like she is not in the mood. She's like, I'm not waiting till I sit down in the confessions chair to be like, you think you're gonna win this, Ellie? She's like, we're doing this right here, right now. On the fly, bitch. So here's a weird thing. I don't know why Ellie has chosen to put Ahura before her. For me, that's only weird because in this competition, Ahura has been funnier than Ellie almost every single time they had to tell a joke, in my opinion, including today. Ohara was funnier than her. In the cast of people, I think the least funniest of who's left is probably Ellie Diamond, and the funniest is probably Lawrence and Bimini. I would've put myself behind taste. I don't know, Ohara has just been really fucking funny. And I would not, I think they underplay, I think she was way better on the Snatch Game than that she was. I, I agree. Think she was, they thought she was pretty good in the morning show, which I agree with. But I think that she should have been in the top for the Snatch Game, not the bottom. I, I was shocked that she was in the bottom. I will say stand-up comedy is, like, a little bit different, a little more intimidating. Like, Ahura is funny, but maybe sitting down, writing down jokes, having delivery rather than just, like, improv and bouncing off others. Because th there was mm -hmm. no one to bounce off. Even for a stand-up, there was no one. That was harsh. Doing it for... Having them do stand-up with no audience, I was like, this is harsh. This is tough guys like i cannot believe they made them go it's like one of the challenges from before the quarantine they're like you know just keep it they can perform for fucking uh sex dolls here's my question so they go in and talk to um alan carr I, let me tell you they have not believed the word dick pussy anything on this app i want to know what the fuck she has in common with her grandma they will not play whatever ohora did you, you figure it out no, I assumed it had something to do with like gaping. I feel like that. I mean, Mitch, if there's any way you could do a little, if, if you're if you're listening, if you can do any research, I have no clue what Ahura said, but it was apparently so egregious they couldn't even play it on an app that is behind a paywall. Apparently, you can only <laughs> hear it on Pornhub. I was like, what could she be saying that is that? grotesque like what could she possibly be saying now i just want to know what's this video we both had gaping assholes <gasps> wow wait how did someone find that that doesn't sound that egregious i mean it's it's a little blue but it's not like navy <laughs> not anything like oh my god like spit your drink out like i cannot believe she just said that it's like a yeah we're on drag race season x of however many uh, series like someone's gonna I, I can't imagine this is the first time someone has said gaping right? asshole in front of michelle or rue i thought she was gonna say but we both have out of our loose butts. that's what i thought she like i thought it had to be like that very descriptive Okay, let's talk about Lawrence's stand up. So I'm actually, yeah. I, I, yeah, Lawrence, I will say this. When you're given a small amount of time, you need to get to the jokes faster. But I think yeah. that Lawrence has said it's funny. Yeah, she took a long time to get to some of the punchlines, but I think her energy coming on stage, and I think she got the like loudest laughs. I agree. I agree. I think I, and I love their note that she's the, she's the most natural stand up up there. Um, Taste. For, is, is Taste's name Taste? She seemed to insinuate that, like, that is her, like, name name. Oh, you mean her government name? That's what it, that's what it seemed like. She was like, that's the name. The name is really Taste. That's, that's the real human being name, Taste. Okay, Google. This stand-up is not, gr again, no one bombed. No right. one, like, ate shit. You know what I mean? Um, first of all, Fuck her for looking this good, just being like, oh, this is just my challenge stand-up outfit. Yeah. Oh, I, Same to Ahura, by the way. Ahura yes. looks beautiful. That I still, out of them, was like, Ellie's made me the most uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, it would, yeah, that would have been, I think that would have been hard to watch in a room full of people. You know what I mean? Not and a room full of no room. one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was really gagged at the moment where um, RuPaul asked Ellie, did you come up with this? Like, 
Bitch, you literally told me to. You told me to come up with the lineup. She was like, "Now who came with the lineup, Rudy? You don't remember? Just yesterday, you were like, Ellie, you're the one making the lineup. Okay, Mama's losing it. Mama also, is fully losing it, yo. Rup, I love sidebar. Love RuPaul and ginger hair. I think she looks so gorgeous in red hair. Ruby is red hot. Bum 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 bum. God damn, it's gonna be stuck in my head for weeks. I'm gonna be about to fall asleep and my eyes are gonna pop open and go bum 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 bum. Ruby, Ruby exactly. is red hot. So RuPaul is wearing this like gold. She, I mean, dress for the job you want. She's dressed as a fucking Emmy. She, like she looks. That's what she I looks thought. Great. <laughs> so let's talk about Ahura. I actually liked Ahura's challenge look better than her runway look personally i think if she wore the challenge look she would have looked a little too plain especially by ahora standards because i think she is yeah. very thoughtful into like detail and curating concepts for the runway so i think that just like a simple dress with nice hair would have been for ahora not that great ahora is a great designer like she's yes. a great fucking designer all right so let's talk about ellie diamond you know i just don't like this is that like it this, why why were they gagging i don't know i feel bad I, okay i appreciate and i have to always remember that ellie is younger and i don't know how long she's been doing drag but like i appreciate that she makes all of her things however in the spectrum of drag race this is to me is like a little too repetitive like she i now i have clocked like i know what kind of hair she likes to make and what kind of outfits she likes to make and this to me next to all the other girls it looks like she wore this for the theme of like snowy or white to me it does not scream diamonds which is wild because yeah. her last name is diamond but it's like yeah let's take a look at uh bimini bunboulash i love this i love this queen i lo also michelle forgot that there have fully been people wearing acne on the runway. I think Blair St. Clair did it. I think Trixie did it. I'm like, Michelle, did, Michelle's like, did, no one's ever had acne on the runway. That's not true, but go off. Did Blair? I think Blair did it when she did her, her like, uh, prom look or something. I might be wrong. You know what? If I'm wrong, the people in the comments will let me know right but, the fuck now. But you are right. It has been done before. I saw this and I was like, what a weirdo. And I love this. She's obsessed with bacteria in a sense. So she just had a, <laughs> yeah. another bacteria runway. Now she's like, I'm giving you another bacteria, babe. Bimini bomb bacteria. Yeah, I'm feeling real brave. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a little bit of acne on my face, babes. Um, I mean, she looks I, great. She looks great. Yeah. I do love this. The only thing I will say is that say it. Um, this I I feel like for Drag Race, like it, it's hard when you haven't done TV or been on Drag Race or know this before. But like because the stones are so little and it's in different chunks, it doesn't always register on the runway. So like when she first mm -hmm. came out, I was like, okay, well, is this stoned? And then you get close and you go, okay, it is. It's just yeah, the cameras and whatever. But other than that, I was like, this is great love this she's a weirdo i'm so into it all right let's look at our, our next person we have lauded chaney who this look is great i mean her body is so good she really understands body like it's yes. and also this little detail in the back where like the painting or the 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 airbrushing on it creates this like contour like her body is just good it's this is good. Great. This is good. This is fantastic. And also, Lawrence has been kind of known to, like, for the, like, there was a couple runways in a row where we're like, okay, we're seeing this flared out dress gown moment. So she's like, I'm going to, I'm going to switch it up at the right time. Yeah. I think she looks great. I think this is very good for her. It's very well done. It's different. Kudos. No complaints. Let's look at taste. So, okay, they were gagging over this. And I think as, as I was looking at it, I was like, she is so stunning. I don't know if I'm just wrapped up in her face or if I think this is a great outfit. I think it's just how beautiful she is. I don't know if this outfit is really all that stunning. That's exactly what I wrote down. Like, the, like she comes out and, like, she's just so... I do like this hair. I do appreciate that Taste is, like, not doing the, like, long, long human down-to-the-butt hair. So, like, I love it when she wears different hair. She looks stunning. But, like... I, I will say the G string is not it for me, especially last it's week. It's not the T. Like <laughs> last girls week... in this fucking no. 
Last week they were like, um, no, we hate this scratchy gash, uh, scratchy gash G string. And now she's wearing another. Which, by the way, can I just say out loud that calling a vagina a gash is way more vulgar than saying gaping asshole. Just that is so, so just true. So clear. That is so true. Also, I did not know. Um, cause Monet wore an outfit like this. I did not know that you could, um, not fog up the clear plastic. That's so interesting. Monet. Girl, Monet was putting all the heat. Girl, that is fucking, <laughs> you are so shady. Um, but yeah, I, as soon as she came out, I was like, oh my God, when Monet had this exact same category, this is very similar to what Monet wore on the exact same category. No, Monet's was... Theirs was pla- their theme was plastic. This one was stoned. So I also oh, don't think. Oh, you're right. You're why? Right. Oh my god. Maybe you do know more. I thought it was, so. This is dripping in jewels. That one was fantastic. Fantastic plastic. Oh my god. Layla coming for my um my drag race fan crown, honey. So the question is, who do you think had the best look and who had the worst look in your opinion? So who was the best? I think comparatively to all these, I think for the theme, I liked a horror the best. I liked the detail. I liked the movement. Um. And I think Ellie was the worst. I'm really torn between Lawrence Shaney and Bimini because Lawrence's is something I would wear and Bimini's is something I really liked. Um, they're both really good and I'm having a hard time choosing. I did like the color explosion. I think that Lawrence's was more daring. Lawrence's was maybe a little more out of the box. Um, so I did like that. So maybe I'm gonna say the best one was um, Lawrence. And I agree, the worst one was Ellie Diamond. I just, the more, like, considering the theme, I liked Lawrence's, but when I looked at Lawrence's, I was like, not that it was bad at all, but I was like, when I wrote down my little notes, I was like, I'm very glad to see Lawrence not doing a dress covered in stones or something. But Ahura's, the more I looked at it and the more details, I liked the hair. I could have probably done without the IV bags. I probably could have done without that poison yeah. IV moment. But other than that, poison I, IV. <laughs> a poison IV chandelier. <laughs> Literally, girl. Okay, what was your favorite look from the runway? Please comment below. I know what mine was. What's yours? Also, in this judgment, like, they really set the bar very low for taste. They were like, we thought you were gonna suck. And you didn't. <laughs> yeah, they did. I thought you were sh I thought you were gonna be fucking terrible. I thought you were gonna be awful. But you were okay. Okay, so... Okay, I have to... Because this little untucked moment, I gotta let my hair down for this, honey, because they were. Uh, uh, ooh, guess who's back in the house? I have to let my hair down to talk about because Aurora is hot. She's like, Ellie, I can't even fucking look at you. I'm so pissed the fuck off right now. If you come over near me, I'm fucking busting your fucking kneecaps out. Shit's about to go down. Don't look at me. Don't talk to me. We not friends. I don't know you. When we get out of here, me and my slutty ass grandma's gonna fuck you up. <laughs> like, she is mad mad. And Ellie is completely ashamed of herself. She's not even saying anything. They get into the room and Ahura's basically being to the jump, being like, Ellie's dead silent. She's like, shut the fuck up or I'll make you shut up. <laughs> Immediately. Ellie, Ellie's, Ellie, Ellie's like, she goes, shut the fuck up, you dumb <laughs> bitch. But it, it, what, what makes it hard to root for Ellie in this moment is because Ellie is obviously not proud of what she did. She is clearly embarrassed by her own actions. And Lawrence and Ahura, I mean, it's just like, they're just fucking tag teaming her. Ahura's like, bitch, dumb, slut, tags in. Lawrence like, listen to me, you fucking dumb piece of shite. I hate that you fucking come in here tagging Ahura. And if I see you in the fucking streets, mate, it's going down. Tag Lawrence, like they are, and Taste is just like, Morris is fully in the top being like, your mom is a piece of shit. Your fucking grandma can rot in hell. Let's just start with that. I'm glad your fucking cat got run over last year. Like, I'm like, girl, this is, <laughs> this is wild. It's a lot of emotion for being in the top. All right, the bottom two are Taste and Ahura, which I do not agree with, but we need to talk about the lip sync. I would not have put Ahura in the bottom two. No. I Personally, I would have taken out a horror, put in Ellie. 
I honestly think maybe I need to watch it again, but on first impression, like I also looking at like editing, like I felt like there was a few more nervous moments from Ahura than there were from Taste. So I think the bottom should have been Ellie and Ahura or Taste, one of the two, because I thought that they're well, you know what? Taste's runway wasn't great comparatively. So yeah, I probably would have had, I would have had Ellie. I, I just, I think it was weird that she was safe. I think that, and I'm not saying Ahura is a better drag queen than Ellie. That's not what I'm saying. But I do think that Ahura is more suited for drag race than Ellie is. I think that Ahura totally. is better at drag race than Ellie, which is why I'm shocked that Ellie's still there. But anyway, I mean, goodbye to Ahura. She's a great queen. Um, I'm gonna miss her bitchy confessions and I'm gonna miss her like when she gets like discouraged or uncomfortable the amount of filler in her lips the like faces she <laughs> makes really tickle me like the mm -hmm. well listen thank you all so much for joining us on first person impressions join us next week and we will be reviewing RuPaul's Drag Race UK season 2 episode 9